Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. In this video, we are going to use an Excel formula to return the least frequent value. So I have a list of names down column A and I want to return the name that occurs the least, which is Ross. We can see Ross only occurs twice, the others are more than twice. Now, I already have the formula in cell D2 doing that job. Um, so I'm not going to write it out in front of you right now. I will put a copy of this formula in the description of this video. So check out the description of this video and you can just copy that formula and change it for your own needs. What I will do in the rest of this video is explain how it all works. So let me double click on cell D2 and this is what we have. It is an array formula. So you have to press control, shift and enter after copying this into your spreadsheet. Let me just escape that formula for a moment. You can probably see in the bar above that I have curly braces around the formula. Let me double click again. You do not type those in. You can see they're not mentioned. You have to press control, shift and enter. So I just want to stress that for those of you who may be new to array formulas. Now what I have here is a combination of index and match. Some of you may have seen my videos and tutorials on that. An alternative to VLOOKUP. Uh, used together, fantastic lookup function. We're using it here to look up the name that occurs the least. Now what I'm going to use here is my F9 button. So in your function keys F9, uh, that runs a formula. I'm going to use it here to run parts of this formula independently to help me explain how it all works together. F9, if you didn't know before, great little button, really helpful when you're trying to troubleshoot formulas, especially logical stuff like your if functions, nested ifs, your if and ands, because um, you may return an answer but it's the wrong one. It helps you break it down and troubleshoot it. Okay, so right now, let me start by highlighting this count if area. So I'm going to run it in the order that it kind of runs here, sort of. <laughs> let me press the F9 button. Count if function counts how many times each one occurs in there. So what we've got here is it's telling us, oh, Ross occurs twice, James occurs five times, James occurs five times, Sarah occurs four times. See what there, Ross, James, James, Sarah, Colin at five, Colin occurs four times and so on and so forth. That's what it's doing. It's counting the occurrence of each name. The min function runs off that to return the smallest number. So we don't know that's Ross yet, but it's saying like that the least amount that a name occurs is twice. We then have this other count if function running. That will run similar to the last one and just return all this stuff. But then the match function, brilliant lookup function, returns to position of something. That's going to return a position of number two in that array. So in this example, it's actually the first thing, but it could be anywhere in there. But the first occurrence of that number two, doesn't care there's another one over here. The first occurrence of that number two, it, have I selected a thing? Oh, need this zero. That zero is for a exact match. occurs that it's in the first position. So in the range, A2 to A16, Ross occurs in the first cell of that range. And the index function looks at range A2 to A16 and returns whatever value is in the first cell. And that is how it all comes together, that array formula. Remember, you have to press Control, Shift and Enter to run that formula. Also remember, it will be in the description of this video you need this go grab it now even if you don't and you're watching this just for, for kind of learning got some brilliant functions involved here index match count if all being used in an array um, to return the least frequent value numbers or text doesn't matter any value here I've used text I've used names as my example I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel or come check us out at computergargar.com.